With a growing number of workers receiving gabapentinoids for managing pain arising from work-related injuries and increasing safety and abuse concerns, this study examines their use for work-related injuries and illnesses across 28 states. The study can help state officials understand how often workers injured in their state are prescribed gabapentinoids, whether the prescribing adheres to medical treatment guidelines, and if a higher proportion of workers in their state are at risk of adverse events from concomitant use of gabapentinoids and opioids. Let me show you how you can use this study. From the table of contents on page four, you can see the major sections in the study. You can click on each of them, and the underlying link will take you to the corresponding chapter. The executive summary begins on page six and provides you with a high-level summary of the major findings from the report. Many readers find this section as a good starting point to find the most important messages from the study. If you'd like to learn more about the broad groups of conditions for which gabapentinoids are prescribed, see figure four. As you can see here, almost all use is off-label. In other words, not for FDA-approved conditions. Roughly two-thirds of workers had a diagnosis for neuropathic pain. If you were interested in information about gabapentin and pregabalin doses, then table three summarizes this information using data pooled across 28 states. We generally find that median daily doses are lower than the recommended doses, and the authors discuss potential reasons for lower doses. You can also find information about how often gabapentinoids are filled with opioids and payments for gabapentinoids in this report. Finally, a literature review starts on page 26 and provides a background on increases in off-label uses of gabapentinoids in the U.S. and summarizes guideline recommendations about off-label uses, among other things. We hope you found this video helpful and will download the report. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below. Also, please make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our latest research and discussions about important workers' compensation topics. Thanks for watching.